All right, guys, this video, I'm going to show you how to reseal the Maverick regulator. The bottle rig and the secondary regulator. The same regulator, even on the Wildcat Dreamline. All right, this one is my Maverick bench gun. It has a 700cc. Large plenum, 160cc plenum. I took out the secondary regulator to get that large refresh rate of the plenum. Yeah, why you might ask? Because I can. Alright, let's get started. This procedure, you're going to remove all the old o-ring if you're going to uh, do a complete reseal. I use this pick. It's pointy, but uh, I round off the end so it doesn't gouge up any metal surfaces. This o-ring here, it seals. There's a trick to this. I have a, a flat spot on my pick kind of glide it to the ceiling surface so it doesn't gouge it up. I just go underneath it, then go up, and you see the point. I just slide it out. And this is the one inside here. The seals the end of the piston. This, you need to poke at it and release a little bit, then flip it out without gouging the ceiling surface. Like feel it, poke at the rubber, back off a little bit, and flick it like that. You move your old stack. Remember, count your stack. Make sure you put it back in the same combination. This is a brass piston. This comes pretty much standard on a new Impax or any other FX air gun that uses the same piston. And most of them do use this piston. I have to remove this, I do the same thing. Go underneath it without the point grabbing the o-ring ceiling surface, slide underneath, and flip it out like that. And the rig adjustment screw, they're very small and very tricky to go underneath it. If you can't go underneath it because the o-ring spins and you don't have the right pick, you can use this tweezer here that's been modified. 
cut down on both sides, narrow to get inside the groove. Just pinch it like that. Get them off. There you go. All the ring is removed. Our next procedure is installing your rings. All right, let's get started and uh, install new O-ring. All right, this brass piston. Make sure you clean and inspect all the O-ring grooves. Make sure there's no gouges, debris on the O-ring groove. That will, that would leak if you have debris. Give a passage. Of air to go by. All right, this one here is easy to install on a piston like that. And the outside of the red body slides over easy. Now this one here could be a little tricky. I always use a uh, describe here small. Look at carefully how I grab an edge and push it inside the o ring groove. Then I'll, I'll push the rest in. You need to keep it seated and try to push the rest in. You're not gonna get it the first time, like me. Right there. Make sure it's seated all the way around. And don't be gouging past the o ring groove. There's a really smooth surface in there. Right? That's when this or small o ring slides into, it makes a seal. So be careful not to gouge that up. And this. The small o ring is a little tricky, so this is what I do. I reverse it, screw it into the body, a couple threads, so it will give you leverage. So you want to use your two thumb nails to slide it on. Lube it so it'll be easier to slide on. See how I hold it? Part of it is on the o-ring groove. Slide it over, and it's on. Now if you break one, well, I have to get another one. Make sure you have plenty of these o-rings. And the second one was a little harder because it's no longer an o-ring groove. It's filled by that o-ring. So this was gonna be tougher. Sometimes this one breaks. Just kind of use your nails to slide it over. Here it's on. If this o ring groove, let's see, this one is damaged, it would leak out of here. If this one leaks, it would bypass the four by one in there it would cause a creek it would leak out of here and it's partially shut what it would do is this little small area here 
will get pressurized and kind of open the rig piston open then you will, it will cause a creep you'll see the the rig gauge will go up all right and now the stack the way I do mine you gotta make sure they're all the same thickness all right mine are all you might see a different variation combination okay this is probably the largest one and the rest are about five three if it's not center it I usually get the thickest one you gotta be careful how you measure it don't get the slope just get the very end so you want to get the thickest one So these are all averaging between six, five point three. If you have a lot of these, you can narrow it down pretty close to all the one dimension. But I like the thickest one, so I don't have to add a second washer to get the the rig pretty high. Right, usually it's just one cup up and another cup facing each other and there's uh, ten of them and I'm kind of quick because I know how it feels it's cupped there you go now here's some washers here you could use if you have these sizes you could use them as long as here four seven if you have this sizes I would suggest adding one more washer at a higher rig setting but I found out they're more consistent when you add more preload to this the regulator alright so remember how you cup it like that I don't know if see the video it just focus alright so it's ready to be installed If you know you want to see how alignment is from the inside, it's like this. All right? Show you a little path to the hole. If you have M3, if you don't, bottle pressure or come through this little teeny hole right there. It lines up when the, this piston is inside. It lines up between these two O-rings this and that one and there's a little teeny hole here it goes through there exit out in the center really small hole all right and there's a Delrin seal here all right to seal the supply if you get the right rig pressure you just they made up and seal if it open when it opens there's a vent hole on this side and in this side, all go through the piston and come out here. And if it fills up your plenum, remember when you reach a uh, uh, certain pressure on the plenum, this would shut. Well, made up with this adjustment screw made up and cut off the supply. All right. Next one, gonna reassemble it onto the gun. Oh. Well.
All right, this includes the video on reseal of the Maverick regulator. In fact, they're the same regulator on the Impact, Crown, Wildcat, Dreamline, as long as they have be a regulator. All right, if you have any comment with this video or request another video, hit the like button or subscribe button or both, and we'll catch your next video.